So I ordered a lithium battery off eBay. Yes, that's right. I ordered a lithium battery off eBay in particular. It was a cheaper one. So the particular one I bought was a brand called Voltex. Uh, it's a 100 amp hour lithium battery. Uh, continuous discharge of 50 amps, which in my case was enough, but a little bit skeptical, a um, little bit cautious, but I did it anyway. So in no way am I sponsored by this particular brand or by the company I actually paid for this out of my own money uh, so I'm going to really test it and see and see if it actually lives up to its expectations uh, you know you jump online and you read all these forums and on Facebook and you know basically they're saying these batteries are, are cheap for a reason you know they've got tiles in them or you know they're not actually rated to what they say they are but this particular model comes with a three-year warranty um, I bought it under the eBay plus membership so if there's anything wrong with it actually you can just return it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the battery show you what it's like uh, and actually test it and see if it actually does live up to its full rating and its full discharge so it'll be pretty interesting to see um, hopefully through this video we can maybe uh, I guess have a bit more trust in some of these batteries and particularly some manufacturers uh, not all manufacturers are going to be telling the truth but hopefully now we can get a better indication as to particularly this brand Voltex uh, that it is going to be and do what it says it's do so let's go check it out so here we go so here's the box that arrived There's no way I could have lifted it up before with a standard AGM, so um, pretty impressive for 100 amp hour batteries, but um, that's it there, if I can show you the battery. Yeah, let's go. So initial impressions of the battery is, uh, looks well made. Uh, it's very light. Uh, if we look on here, you see operating voltage of 12.8, charging voltage 14.6, max charging current 50 amp and a standard discharge current of 50 amps. So, um, you know, overall the battery seems good. You've got this little, if you can see that there, you got a strap or a handle, uh, you've got your terminals there, which are screw terminals, and the positive and the negative. Um, yeah, apart from that, it seems okay at the moment. Uh, but I guess time will tell once we, we get it out and see how well it actually performs. So let's go connect this up. So this is how I've got it set up. So I've got my trusty angle. Uh, this may take a while, but I wanted to see how, you know, in real world use, I guess, you know, you've got a fridge on here. Uh, which is particularly what I wanted to use it for and see how long this is going to last. So I've got the, the battery connected up to a, a meter. Uh, as you can see, the fridge is on full freeze and it's only drawing uh, like 2.8 amps max. So, you know, this may take a while to drain. So I may have to change it and connect more things up to it later on. But let's just see how this goes. Uh, but first of all, before I even uh, get into this I'm going to fully charge it um, back up to its full capacity so we know it's full uh, and then what we'll do there is then we'll connect it back up and then see how long it lasts. Uh, 
exciting. So before I actually charge this, what I'm gonna do is I'll just go and measure its voltage. So you can see there it is 13.2 volts currently. Uh, and what I'm gonna to use to charge it would be a So I'm using a, a Red Arc Smart Charger. Uh, it's only rated for, for 10 amps, so uh, it's not the quickest thing in the world, but it's already full, so uh, you should see how long this takes to get uh, charged back up, and then once it's charged, we'll hit the test. So stay tuned. So I've got this all started charging, um, but what I'm gonna do is also measure what's going back into the battery at the same time. Uh, so it gives us indication of what we're going to be taking out and then figure out what we're going to be putting back in to give us a clear number as to whether this particular battery is actually 100 amp hours. So let's see how this goes. So here we are, battery is fully charged now. Uh, so what we're going to do now is hook this up and see how long it goes. So I've just hooked up the battery monitor uh, and we're just going to let that run now so down 13.6 drawing about two to three watts uh, and then we'll continually check this every day uh, and, and see how long it lasts so it's just a quick check-in uh, we're still drawing from two to three amps uh, and it's been going for nine hours and we have used 27 amp hours so I needed to speed this test up. So I've got some sanders, uh, found an inverter, just an old inverter that I had lying around. Uh, and now with these sanders going, we're gonna see how much we're gonna draw now, which is 31 amps. Uh, it was just taking far too long. So I needed to speed this test up. Um, how long have we actually been going for now? I think it's close to 19 hours. So I uh, just needed to speed this up. And currently we've used 63 amp hours. So this is basically the end of the test. So I'll just let this play out and you can watch out and see what happens. So what I've done now after the test is I've hooked up a battery charger to the battery. So we're gonna charge this back to full. We're gonna measure how many amp hours we put back into the battery. And then we can compare the two values and see if they're very similar. So far, I'm really impressed with this battery. Its performance has exceeded what it was supposed to do. So it was a 100 amp hour rated battery, but we got you know close to 102. I'm sure we could have pushed that a little bit further and got a little bit more. Uh, but so far, results are really impressive and I'm, I'm impressed with this battery. So we'll come check back on the results in the morning and, and see what type of results we get. So this is just the overnight charge, uh, a little bit longer than actually, which is 18 hours it's been charging, but it's put back in 96.6 amp hours. So uh, that's pretty close to what I took out or what we took out before. So this battery is looking pretty good. So what's my thought on this battery? I guess I'm really impressed. You know, it's performed according to expects and has its three year warranty at this price point. It's definitely something worth a try. You know, swapping over to lithium to save on weight compared to AGM is, is definitely something to consider, especially when you look at this price point. I guess when you look at other major AGM, you know, deep cycle manufacturers, you're gonna get less than two years warranty anyway. So this is something worth to consider. Another thing to be wary of, I guess, is the warranty process. You know, I've personally never heard of Voltex before or know how long they've been around. You know, questions I ask myself is, will they honor its warranty in the event of an issue? And I guess I can't answer that right now. You know, unfortunately I won't know that until there is an issue. But so far so good as, you know, the product has worked and it's lived up to its specs and expectations. I guess another thing to do is if you're looking at this battery is to purchase it from a well-known established company. I guess this will give you peace of mind knowing that you know they're more likely to or honor or warrant the warranty process. So overall, I'll continue to test and use this battery and let you know if I face any issues in the future. So that's it for this video. I hope it's been really helpful. If it has, I would love you to give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button so you get notified when we release other videos. 
you know, we're always checking out new sites and playing around with gear and equipment. But if you have any questions or comments, hit us up below in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer any questions. So thanks for watching and until next time.